Last month, I announced that I would be conducting an experiment on myself by stopping my use of topical minoxidil and replacing it with stomoxidine, while continuing to use oral finasteride. The purpose of this experiment was to see, after using finasteride consistently for over a year and stomoxidine for three months, if the hair that I grew with minoxidil could be maintained and potentially grow in a way similar to how it did before, given the reduced presence of DHT in my scalp. That was the idea. I thought it would be great to document this journey, especially up close, so I bought a scalp camera to observe the problem areas, primarily my hairline, that has been a significant area of hair loss that I have been dealing with since I was 17 years of age. The documentation of this experience should help people see what happens, or what can potentially happen, when discontinuing to use minoxidil. But I also want to stress this point, this could result in massive shedding and potentially reverse whatever minoxidil gains you've made. Not everyone is the same, especially when it comes to hair loss and hair genetics. Different groups of people express hair loss differently and have different hair textures and patterns that actually give an illusion sometimes of there being greater density. And also some environments and exposures to certain lifestyles may speed up the progression and onset of nail pattern baldness. So it's probably better for you to continue using topical minoxidil than play around with stopping it, but I'm an idiot. So after two months of not using topical minoxidil, here are some up close shots. I also would like to mention that I dropped the whole weaning off of minoxidil thing for my last video. Instead, after three days of posting the video on November 6, 2022, I just stopped using minoxidil. So did I experience any shedding? In short, yes, but not much. The problem area that I have is my hairline, the temples, and sideburns area. I don't have any thinning issues on the back of the scalp or on the top of the scalp. Now, I'm not sure if this shedding is due to me not using minoxidil or just a normal shed. Again, it wasn't anything significant like I had when I started using minoxidil and finasteride at the same time a little over a year ago. Perhaps it is a bit too early for a massive shed, my hair in general has felt thicker, especially at the back and the top of the scalp area regions. So far, it's been four months on stomoxidine, and I'm going to keep using stomoxidine for maybe one or two more months, and then I'll stop. I use it twice a day now, actually. Could it be the case that stomoxidine is preventing the minoxidil shed? Or maybe I need to wait for the hair cycle to be completed and wait for whatever massive hair fall may come about and see if the hair is able to grow again in a non-minoxidil dependent way. In any case, don't take this video as the best scientific experiment ever. I am but a single subject, and maybe there are certain genetic factors to myself, and perhaps my genetic group that I belong to, the results in me either being able to stop using minoxidil or being more reliant on it. Only time will tell. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I'm sorry about the background noise but hopefully that uh, goes away. Anyway, bye guys.